do a little recording um, since I'm outside. It's a little bit, uh, a little bit of rain. I came out here to uh, just get a little bit of fresh air and try and do a little bit of reading, but uh, yeah, the rain's kind of coming on a little bit, so I don't want to get the, uh, my Kindle's not waterproof, so I thought I'd like to try and do a little bit of recording as well. Uh, still feeling um, unwell. I kind of wanted to continue a little bit from what I was talking about um, last night, um, just to kind of try and get my sort of mental health and perspective and understand a little bit about the just the order and place of things, and just to get a, some clarity. Um, and maybe I'm. I'm repeating myself from yes last night I can't quite remember exactly what was said but I feel the need to just to go over that sort of stuff um, um, this feels in no way sort of detailed or feels a bit cumbersome but um, it feels like there's some, like several big areas of, of what's happening at the moment um, I guess there's sort of anxiety symptoms there. There's depression symptoms which are complex and, and varied and um, maybe we could just, just uh, call them that for the moment. And then there's also perhaps what overlaps both maybe is a sense of um, when I mention unwellness or the state of my mind and that I have a damage or trauma the condition of my mind at the um, and it's perhaps there's like overlapping circles of all three of those perhaps maybe that makes a bit of sense um, and, and also on this little bit of paper with the three circles of overlapping symptoms I've got the depression cure book I'm working on as well uh, we're all trying to read through and um, There's the sort of practice of, the spiritual practice of being present um, as much as possible and kind of um, having that as a more of a sort of ongoing thing than something I uh, sort of step out and decide to do, like a, I was like do a sitting meditation, but this is kind of an ongoing thing, so there's that as well. Um, and also, I mentioned a book last night about DBT, which is, you know, some things like that. And it feels like perhaps the depression if you're in the DBT, or maybe other similar types of books or things um, that are designed to help with depression or anxiety. It feels like they're only helpful to a certain extent. Um, maybe that's not entirely true as well. I guess they help the... the... Um, they help the symptoms my functionality I feel like it's kind of you know getting a bit of exercise sunlight managing my sleep um, and sorting out the um, taking some omega threes and other things as well um, and then the other one I think is um, the other two is um, engaging activity and social interaction so on one level you can kind of sense that okay these are healthy things for the mind so at some point there's some benefit to doing that um, and that varies as well actually because uh, social interaction is is a struggle for me um, especially people who are not as comfortable with or it's only very very few people I feel kind of safe safe with really. Yeah, I'm sure, of course, on um, many levels, that's probably helping me to, to have, sort of be in touch and stuff. But uh, generally speaking, it's still, it's still difficult for me as well. So those kind of, um, and it's, 
It's always a reminder myself, which I always forget, that there's quite a six sort of steps that this, um, I think it's a clinical psychologist, is designed, like this lifestyle, so you kind of incorporate these daily. Has kind of mentioned that you, everyone needs to kind of find their own balance with each one and a relationship, I think, and some things may work better for others. You know, we're doing more things than another. Um, so perhaps keep things simple, those six steps of depression cure that book and maybe the resources if I if I have the um, energy, which is another thing I'll come to, the energy to read and engage. Um, those kind of those help to a certain extent of functionality um, and maybe they also help in some way of trying to add some healing to whatever trauma's been done. It's definitely going to keep open to all of that so, um, and also my practice of being present is does both the same thing as well it uh, helps me function and helps me sort of manage things um, and it also I'm sure on some level there's some healing happening there but perhaps it's all happening on a very sort of slow incremental level and, and it's not to say that you know I'll be like fully cured or this will happen. It doesn't, at the moment, it doesn't appear that way. It appears that um, things are uh, slow in that, in that respect. Or my, um, <clears throat> my trauma and or what, I, what I'm calling, I guess, is probably not the best word, but damage that I feel is in the mind um, is still very prevalent and severe. Off this phone is supposed to be waterproof, so hopefully I'll be okay. <laughs> the rain coming down. Um, so, yeah, just reminding myself of that really. Um, just that general picture of things. It feels like it helps to clarify and get, get those things in order uh, with myself. So, so, yeah, I think a lot of my day is just, just doing that stuff really, being present. Um, Part of the six steps what I do is my writing which is a, a big part of what I try and do and I'm struggling a lot with that um, so I guess um, just to bring back things right back to the present um, so yeah the last couple of days a few days I've been feeling quite low low mood and unwell which I maybe they're too connected but separate as well in some ways like the, un the unwellness is um, not necessarily because I've got a low mood and the other and vice versa. Um, but um, yeah, and it's just trying to manage that stuff really. Um, and I went into like, a little list yesterday about kind of trying to know how to manage my day or manage the moment of what tasks I want to do and how much to push myself and I still the same today as well. Um, um, it's strange. I had to um, write a, a text message to to my uh, landlady just to ask about something, and it just felt very stressful to do just the act of communication and and, when, and receiving the reply. There was a, there was a kind of a stress response there as well, um, and it was a perfectly you know nothing wrong with the messages sent or received and normal communication um, it was just there's um, anxiousness there about that um, and um, yeah I don't know if it's just social anxiety or, or but it, it was definitely um, a sense of feeling unwell you know and especially being offered in the message I received I was offered some like uh, offered some help or something that felt overwhelming um, I didn't know how to process it whether it was appropriate to accept that help and um, it, maybe I could go into detail it's hopefully be okay um, especially I've got this uh, <laughs> I built up to be very serious but it's very very not um, I've got a dish rack that I'm using that's just hard for me to clean and maintain it um, 
so I wanted to kind of send a message to say, you know, is it okay if I give that back to her? And I, um, and, and the response was very kind, you know, um, the landlady offered to say, you know, if, if there's a dish rack you like the look of, you know, I, I can buy it for you. And um, it was overwhelming to kind of receive that because I just thought, uh, you know, that's too kind in some ways, or that's too, I don't know if that's, if I should be saying yes to that um, because it's like it's not not like a necessity for the place I'm living in it's different if it was like a the mattress and the bed that I needed replacing perhaps that's something that would would be um, taken care of by the landlady but with this it feels like it's maybe more more something for me to take care of and, but it just felt very overwhelming to process you know what was said and whether it was okay to to accept that and my mind went down that path a little bit of, you know, if I was to accept that, which I don't feel like I will, because it feels too stressful to do, you know, it would be incredibly stressful to try and pick something out and try and guess whether that's too expensive or reasonable. Um, and it just, it was just, yeah, it just seemed very stressful and painful. Because on the outside, it just feels like something so normal and simple, but for me, it just felt very, very difficult. Um, it was like I'm still sort of recovering from having to sort of text and communicate. Um, I looked up on a few diss tracks online just for myself to try and buy and it felt overwhelming. And I went on some websites and there's just so many that I just didn't know really where to start. And I found a group of others that I thought perhaps one of those could be suitable and, and in my sort of price range, uh, keeping to like a low sort of, you know, not spending, spending kind of a minimum amount in some respects, but having something functional and useful. So I kind of narrowed down a few on this, um, on this website and I just didn't have any reasoning or any movement in my mind to think, okay, which one should I, which one would be best for me? And, um, the functionality of perhaps imagining it sort of I think it's like the mechanics of the mind that are so seamless when then not under a stress response or maybe I've used the word neuro, I don't know if they use uh, neurotypical people uh, I don't know if that's the word um, instead of the normal um, if you know it feels like that would be a seamless sort of mechanism the function of the mind to kind of process three things you know, look at the individual details, rule out some of those and think, yeah, I prefer this one. But for me, um, in this current space, it just feels overwhelming, you know, worried about making a mistake, about buying one and thinking, no, that that's, it doesn't work as I want it to. And so I don't want to just sort of buy one without having any feeling towards it or any um, uh, preference or, yeah, sort of, context or I don't know what word I'm trying to use but just you know whatever mental process one goes through when they look for something of preference and look for logic and reasoning it feels like that's just I just couldn't access that um, so yeah so today it's just been that kind of similar stuff really um, just what have I done today? I've kind of got out for the morning light for a walk. Um, managed to do that and kind of had some porridge in the morning so I had like a healthy sort of breakfast and that's kind of helping with um, I'm sure it's helping with my IBS which seems to be a bit less to the pain seems to be less like less cramping um, and then I think for the rest of the morning I did actually did do a bit of tidying up and a big pile of scrubbing that dish rack which was really um, it's really hard to kind of to get clean so um, that's maybe a big thing to acknowledge like I scrubbed that and I've just you know left that outside for my um, for it to be picked up um, so that's one small accomplishment maybe and, and to write that message as well which was really difficult I managed to do it but doesn't feel like a, there's a good feeling. It just feels like I'm just dealing with the consequences of it. There's no sort of good feelings to acknowledge that.
Yeah, so I've done the, uh, and I've just started listening to a podcast, um, just to kind of just you know just to have something on, just to keep me focused on something. I was going to use the word distraction. I'm not sure if it's purely a distraction uh, in that way. It feels like distraction. I feel like a negative sort of word that you're running away from your feelings, but doesn't quite feel like I'm doing that but just having a focus time um, decided not to go to the library today it opens up a bit later in the afternoon so um, and I just feel like I'm quite physically tired as well so I've, and I just um, yeah maybe based on how I'm feeling to not try not to push myself with that stuff if I do any writing um, maybe I can do like a few sentences at home when it's five minutes at home or something like that. Um, yeah, I think, um, yeah, I just simply dropped off the, one of the reasons for me kind of coming here really was just sort of felt like I wanted to maybe get outside for a bit as well. Um, maybe some fresh air would help. And, I did a very small amount of reading before the rain started, um, but that's that's at least something, um, you know, trying to keep myself open to, to stuff and not um, be too pessimistic. And um, But yeah, maybe that's just good just to clarify that. I feel like that makes a bit of sense when I mentioned the sort of those conditions almost and sort of over overlapping circles like depressed depression anxiety and trauma perhaps or maybe use that word as just all overlapping each other um uh, yeah i'm just trying to do my best to manage that as best as i can as well as of course um perhaps there's a healing element to things i'm doing as well but it may just be in the background and it may be slow um, for the time being Maybe it's just confirming that first like I'm doing um, everything I can. Um, it doesn't feel like I'm, I'm doing anything hugely negative to bring down my, my mood or things I need to like sort of urgently address. Um, I also um, signed up to try and volunteer as well, which is another huge um, thing for me um, to do. And what prompted that was just my difficulty in financial restrictions of universal credit um, that I'm kind of bumping up against these restrictions in a way where it's just affecting my health um, so you know in regards to trying to getting a bigger space because there's you know it really it's having more and more an effect of my probably you know one of the reasons why I've come out today a little bit just to break up my time there but because it's um having that effect on me but it feels obviously that those restrictions financially I have where there's no other option but um, and so I'm trying to um, kind of yeah just get into volunteering maybe there is some distant thoughts about trying to maybe work whether it's self-employed something I can do that I feel like there's some fulfillment there and in the sense of me sort of helping others in some capacity and, and it's, it's kind of not too stressful for me to do that but it feels like a bit of a world away as well and it feels like there's so many steps involved and things can so quickly turn on their head like even now I feel like I don't know if I can manage that if you know even if they get back to me and you know and I go through the process of maybe being able to do that um, I feel like I just need to like, do extremely small steps. Um, so even though I have ideas about the future, maybe of kind of um, doing some sort of helpful service that's sort of self-employed. Um, and it feels on, on some ways it's, I need to kind of put that idea down for the time being because it's just, my mind just doesn't have the tools to cope with that, and especially when I'm feeling like this. And those things could seem like almost like scary monsters a little bit. You know, the more and well I feel the bigger and scarier those kind of notions feel. All the, by thinking about them and having them on mind, the more impact, negative impact they have on me. So, 
so so yeah just to yeah summarize i guess i'm doing feels like i'm doing some i'm aware of the challenges i have i'm trying to do steps to mitigate and to help and you know possibly add a bit of healing and uh, functionality as well um, and i guess because things perhaps on a certain level of severity with my health and it feels like you know the things I'm doing is not having a huge impact on me right now um, and I'm not sure if that's just me my perception being skewed or I don't know um, yeah I just don't know how to look at it if it feels that way anyway. so I'm kind of doing all of this stuff and it feels like I'm not sort of getting the sort of the reward feelings of them at the moment um, but I'm going to try and just continue with this because it feels like it logically makes sense um, and if I was to you know, feel any better or be more functional if there's any healing takes place what will happen with the things I'm doing um, at least I feel It's, it's, it's something about the unwellness that like, it feels like that's it's almost got like a magnetic sort of draw on me where I kind of when it flares up like it has done now I kind of constantly feel the need to be able to understand for my mind to understand what's happening and I'm kind of going in this cycle of where that's not hugely possible really to go more into detail besides using words like trauma and um, sort of observing the, my lack of capacity in my mind or my difficulties like writing a text message or yeah or like you know for example trying to buy a dish rack and trying to figure out that process and it's hard for me I don't have the clarity to kind of um, to understand to to express and to, even to get myself to understand what's happening but I just knew um, the result of it and how it affects me. Um, it feels like there's this thing where I, I constantly need to keep repeating that over and over, um, almost to remind myself that's what's happening, like as if I forget what's happening and I feel like I'm going insane. It feels like to remind myself of this or to work through these sort of simple thoughts about my health, just maybe give me a bit of sanity and perspective. I don't know if this is something I'll probably continuously need to do. Um, but, um, yeah, um, I think I mentioned yesterday with this kind of flux of what I'm capable to do each day, it just, it's just so hard to build consistency and growth and, and things like that. And, um, And that definitely affects affects the mood because you kind of have to it's like a moving target and i constantly have to readdress and re sort of center myself and talk myself to remind myself of what's happening that what i did yesterday just because i can't do it today you know, to remind myself that's okay which is difficult to do so yeah I'm sure there's a lot more to it than that, but that's all I can sort of go into now. Um, also, the rain is easing up a little bit, so maybe maybe I'll stay and do a little bit more reading if I can. But um, yeah, I just wanted to try and share these really difficult things and hope, hoping that sort of getting this off my chest and saying that you know, it's been you know, sort of thinking it through a little bit helps in some way. But, um, I think the rest of the day I'm just going to try and continue as I'm doing really it feels like I don't have a huge amount of mental energy so it might just be a day of maybe watching some things and trying to be okay with that and um, because I did some tidying up this morning um, I may possibly try and do some cooking this evening if I feel uh, if I feel up to it but uh, yeah that's that's how my uh, rest of my day looks